Hello everyone. Today in Accounting One course, we'll talk about the chapter five. It's related to merchandise operations. When you complete this chapter, you'll able to describe merchandising operation and operating cycle of a merchandising company. You'll describe inventory systems. You'll account for purchase related transactions. You'll uh, account for sales related transactions under the perpetual inventory system. And on the appendix, you can see the another inventory system as a periodic inventory system. So uh, we'll give information about merchandising operations, inventory systems, and accounting for purchase transactions, accounting for sales transaction, uh, on details under the perpetual inventory system. And in the appendix, you'll see periodic inventory system. Uh, when we talk about the merchandising operations, we have to define the merchandising company. A merchandising company will buy and sell that uh, ready-made goods to their customer. So a merchandiser is a business that sells merchandise or goods to the customers. Merchandising companies uh, will not make any production. Okay, They only purchase goods and resell to either uh, end users or retailer companies. Uh, merchandising companies are different than service companies and different than manufacturing companies. So in a merchandising company, first of all, by using their money, they will purchase the inventory. And uh, operating cycle will begin with the purchase of merchandise inventory. Why merchandising companies buying those inventory? In order to sell to the customer. By selling the inventory, company will earn sales revenue. But sometimes companies can make credit sales. So, uh, Inventory will be converted to the accounts receivable and at their due dates, uh, company will collect the receivables and will get cash on hand to start to the another cycle. This operating cycle is very important. Again, uh, if we emphasize operating cycle will begin with the purchase of merchandise inventory and ends when the cash from sales is collected from the customer. Okay. And uh, how will we record uh, the merchandise inventory related transactions? First of all, we have to determine the value of merchandise inventory on hand and value of the uh, sold inventory. To decide about the a value of merchandise inventory on hand and uh, sold, we have two different methods. One of them is periodic inventory system or method. The other one is perpetual inventory system. On this uh, chapter, we'll go uh, on the details of perpetual inventory system. But if you are wondering the details of the periodic inventory system, you can look at the appendix of this chapter. Periodic inventory system uh, is not very commonly used. It is used by the companies with inexpensive inventories and especially in a manual accounting system. Periodic inventory system requires businesses to obtain a physical count of inventory to determine quantities on hand. There is no detailed records about the quantity. And in a periodic inventory system, they will use purchase account to record their purchases of inventories. And they will never, I mean, during the period, they will not know about the cost of the goods sold. Uh, and they have to wait until to the end of the accounting period by making physical counting, they can calculate 
cost of the goods sold during the period, not on each sales time. Therefore, uh, for the inventory management system, it's not very suitable method. But if company is uh, small, if the inventories are very, uh, if company has a lot of inexpensive uh, types of the uh, inventories, they uh, should use periodic inventory system. But because of the technological changes, most of the companies now are using perpetual inventory system because perpetual inventory system keeps a running computerized record of merchandise inventory for the quantity, for the unit cost, everything can be followed. And uh, of course, this system achieves better control over the inventory. For better inventory management, companies should use perpetual inventory system. A perpetual inventory system records the followings. Units purchased and cost amount, purchase amount and unit cost of the uh, each item can be known. And also uh, units sold and sales and cost amounts can be known. And quantity of merchandise inventory on hand and its cost can be known. Therefore, uh, when it's possible, companies will prefer perpetual inventory system. For the merchandise inventory related events, one of the uh, event is purchase of the inventory. Because merchandising companies will not make production, they will buy from the producer or from the wholesaler in order to sell uh, their customers. So when the merchandise company purchased inventory, it will be recorded to merchandise inventory account at the time of purchase. Merchandise inventory, purchased inventory, is an asset of the company. Uh, by selling those inventory to the customer, company will earn revenue. So it is an asset, it will provide future benefit to the company, uh, will make debit entry to the merchandise inventory account at the purchase time. You, uh, company can buy on cash or on credit. So credited account titles uh, will be cash or accounts payable, depends on the purchase type. If the purchased uh, inventory is not good, uh, it can be defective, damaged, or uh, we cannot be satisfied with that purchased items. At that uh, situation, we'll uh, send back to the seller. At that point, company's merchandise inventory assets will decrease. Uh, so we have to make credit entry to the merchandise inventory account. If you purchase on credit, your debt to the seller uh, will also decline. So for the purchase returns, make the debit entry to accounts payable, make the credit entry to the merchandise inventory. Sometimes instead of returning uh, the purchased items, we can ask some allowance or a deduction on the purchase price after uh, recording the purchase. So on that position, uh, you'll not return uh, or you'll not send back to the inventory, but co uh, purchase cost of the inventory will decline. Again, you have to use credit side of the merchandise inventory account. When the companies make credit purchases, seller will give uh, to the company uh, some discount period for the early payment. If there is a uh, discount period, if company make early payment, 
cost of the purchases will decline. So this purchase discount uh, will reduce the cost of the purchase items. Therefore, we have to use credit side of the merchandise inventory account. As you pay attention, uh, there is no separate account for purchase discount. There is no separate account for the purchase returns and purchase allowances because all of them are affecting the cost of the goods purchase. To follow at the cost amount uh, to the inventory, you'll just use merchandise inventory account. And why did we purchase the inventory? To sell to our customer. So, the amount a business earns from selling merchandise inventory is a sales revenue. When you sold the inventory, we will earn sales revenue. But in order to earn sales revenue, you have to use, you have to send some of your merchandise inventory to your customer. Therefore, at the sales time, you have to make two separate, two different journal entry. One journal entry is related to revenue side of the event. The other journal entry is related to expense side of the event. When you uh, sold the inventory, you will earn sales revenue. If it's cash sales, company's cash assets will increase. If it's a credit sales, accounts receivable will increase. Gross increased amount on the asset will equal to the earned revenue. So revenue will be credited. But to earn this revenue, we said we have to uh, give the merchandise inventory. Company's merchandise inventory will decrease. In the second journal entry, you'll make credit entry to merchandise inventory. But decreases on merchandise inventory will be recorded at cost amount. So gross decreased amount on the asset to earn revenue will cost to the expenses. So expense uh, amount will be recorded on the title cost of the goods sold account. Okay, The difference between uh, sales revenue and cost of the goods sold will give us with the sales profit. And also our customers uh, can return some of the purchase items from our company. So we will call it as a sales returns. If the customer uh, returned some of the sold items to our company, uh, our earned revenue will decline. So uh, to follow the reason why companies earned revenue is declining, we will use a contra revenue account. Its name sales returns and allowances. We'll not directly use the debit side of the sales return. We will use sales returns and allowance account. And at the same time, uh, if our customer returns some of the goods, merchandise inventory asset will increase and uh, cost of the goods sold will decrease. Again, you have to make two different journal entries for the sales returns. <clears throat> but instead of returning uh, the sold items, customers can ask for the allowance. Uh, if there is a, if we accepted that allowance, our earned revenue will decline, but will not receive any inventory. Therefore, we have to make just one journal entry to reduce the earned revenue. Again, we'll use that contra revenue account. Sales returns and allowances will be debited. And of course, our receivable from the customer will decrease. 
For the credit sales, again, similar to the uh, purchase discount, we can give some uh, discount period to our customer uh, to promote the early payment, to encourage the uh, customers to make early payment. So we'll uh, receive uh, less amount than accounts receivable. Again, uh, we'll collect our receivable, but our cash amount will be less than uh, decreases on the receivable. Again, we'll use another contra revenue account, its name sales discount. Instead of directly using debit side of the sales revenue, we'll use debit side of the sales discount. So at the end of the period, during the period, we'll buy uh, inventories, we'll return some of the purchased uh, inventories, we'll sell to different customers on cash, on credit, we'll record all the merchandise inventory related events. And at the end of the period, uh, we will uh, check the amount on hand. And we have to re uh, close all the temporary accounts. So in the at the end of the period, uh, we have to make physical counting and we'll check the uh, amounts on hand and balance of the inventory account. And uh, there must be some uh, differences because of the stolen inventory or because of the broken or damaged inventory. Uh, we have to be sure uh, why uh, amounts are different or which type of events are happen. And after that, in adjustment process, we'll do them. And after, we'll close all the temporary accounts. Remember, all the revenue and expense accounts were temporary. And for the merchandise inventory related events, we have some new income statement accounts like sales revenues, sales returns and allowances, sales discount, cost of the goods sold. So you have to close all those temporary accounts by using the income summary account. Uh, revenue accounts will be debited, income summary will be credited. Income summary account will be debited and expense accounts or contra revenue accounts will be credited. So the balance of the income summary will give us net income or net loss of the period. So by using the capital account, we'll close income summary account too. And uh, on the income statement, when you prepare the financial statements, on the income statement, we'll see the profitability of the company. Remember, uh, for the small companies, for the service companies, they will prepare a single step income statement. But for the merchandising companies to uh, give detailed information about the uh, source of the profit, we'll prepare a multiple step income statement. So if income numbers at different levels are required, you have to prefer multiple step income statement. As you see on the screen, multiple step income statement will list several important subtotals like net sales, like gross profit, like income before uh, taxes. As you see, uh, sales discount, sales returns and allowances are subtracted from the sales revenue to get the net sales. When you subtract the cost of the goods sold from net sales, you'll get gross profit. And after you'll subtract the operating expenses like that. Different amounts, not only in one side expenses, on the other side revenue. Related expenses will be uh, reported on the same section with the revenue. Okay. On the next uh, chapter, we'll talk about the merchandise inventory.